live from Racine, Wisconsin, it's Guys, Games, and Beer! So to start this one out, uh, because last week's episode we had to do that crappy gluten-free beer. No, it wasn't that better. bad. It was not. It was, it was no, but you I got... You have to admit it was better than the uh, acapella. acapella. It was okay, than the acapella, so, but it was still and you know what? Mm-hmm. Wait, if it's the difference between not drinking beer and because I have like a gluten allergy or something, right? You're I drinking was, that all day. I would, yeah, I all right, right, all right. All right. That was a week ago. They don't okay, so it was a week ago. So, but what we are doing? So what we are doing is we're going to try something a little bit like a real beer tonight. This is by uh, a, a Madison brewery called Ale Asylum. <laughs> And what we are trying tonight is their Ambergeddon. Oh my god, it's delicious. There's a there. skull I on the bottom. Allegedly, you haven't had it yet. I've had it before. Bone. Bottoms it's up. so good. Ooh, okay, that is good. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you see why I was so excited oh. when you pulled this out. It's got it's bite. Good. Fair enough. That's got bite. Damn, oh, that's a hoppy. I was going to say, yeah. I thought it was misleading. It's it called Ambergeddon, but it's very hot. It's yeah, I agree. It, it, it borders like an a IPA. Little, it should be IPA again. That, that doesn't that doesn't make a clever <laughs> pun though. It, it, according to the it's label, good, it though, says right? it's a mix yeah, between it's good. a West it's Coast really style good. amber and it's part ale. It's a bunny. Yeah, it's a bunny beer. A hop yeah, flavored. Yeah. It's not it bad. Says that I mean, on the label. I mean, the, 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 All right. Put it to a vote, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I like it. I love it. Have you guys ever had a malicious animal side? Oh, God. I'm going to agree with you. That the, but on the beer itself, amber, I did expect more than amber. It's, it's 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 good, though. It's a very good beer. It's good. It's very good. So, Rob, what are we talking about tonight? Well, there's a Genesis story for everything. And today, we're going to talk about our Genesis story. The Sega Genesis. About three seconds ago, I actually came up with that. Wait. Nice. I can feel I it. I don't think oh, not, that yeah, tonight. not that Genesis. Not that Genesis. I'm scared. <laughs> I've been, been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh, Hold no. on. <laughs> all right, all right, enough, enough. Second show. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> for you guys, it's been a week. For us, it has not. We're still drinking from the last show. Speaking of the Phil Collins Genesis, I mean Sega Genesis. Damn it. <laughs> So, today we are going to talk about the best Phil Collins song. Wait, no, no. Sorry. The best Sega Genesis song. Wait. So- <laughs> no. It's a goof so fake it was real. Guys, games and beer is usually a scripted show, folks. But in this particular case, I screwed the pooch. I didn't mess it up during the rehearsal. <laughs> oh, we rehearsed, yeah. No one ever does, Rob. Uh, there, was, there was inklings of, uh, of rehearsal, like, for about five seconds before I got told to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is the rehearsal. We just get tired and Remember drunk. This is yeah. a family show? Okay, so anyway, oh, God, yes. we're going to talk about the best Sega Genesis Games of all time. I think uh, I think we've all got different ones this time, don't we? I think it's gonna be a good mix. No, I think I have exactly the same as everyone else. I want to go on about it. Now the question is: <laughs> Is there an obscure European game <laughs> that involves a map and economic battles I hope so. for the <laughs> Genesis? I'm afraid not. Oh! <laughs> At least not to my knowledge. I mean, it's you know. Hard. It probably would be... No, actually, there was one time... Uh, oh, anyhow, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no, no, all right. Kevin, no, um, I'm glad I don't know. bring up the obscure game like that. Well, I mean, there was, you know, the whole, glad, you know, the discovery of the new so world, and then, oh, not genocide, Genesis. Okay. Yeah, not genocide. Wow. <laughs> all right. To be fair, we did talk about Nazis last time. We did. Nah. Last week, you mean. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know. I figure I'll talk about the, uh, the, the, the Fantasy Nazi Star series, because that was something that actually oh, was wow. a... Genesis exclusive uh, release. I mean, you know, obviously you had, you know, Final Fantasy and that on the NES, but the, the Genesis, I mean, I feel like, honestly, those were, the, like, particularly Fantasy Star 4, which, I mean, was the, you know, the last sort of, you know, traditional sort of JRPG format one. Obviously, they have, you know, PSO and all that nowadays, but 
or I think it's two now. But anyhow, um, it was it was. I mean, compared to its its contemporaneous like JRPG releases that you saw on the SNES, it was it was technically more advanced. Like the the graphics were better. I mean the the. The the control. I mean, just like the. It was very much like it was a it was a trial. Like it was it was a refinement of all the like that what that series has been doing. I mean, it while. Well, the, the buttons aren't the point. The but the point is, I mean, it was just it was really quite something. I mean, obviously, you know, that was that was. You, I, I was perhaps a, a hair too young to appreciate the, the technical triumph that was. I mean, because, you know, I was coming to, you know, around the, the late 90s. So, you know, at that point we had, you know, 3D on the PlayStation and all that bullshit. But even compared That's to, like... That's bullshit. How do you call that bullshit? Kevin is a purist. I no, I'm just saying like as far as like your 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 16 3D, bit all, okay, you know 2D, 2D sprite based JRPGs. As far as I'm concerned, I I I I I place Fantasy Star 4 over like Final Fantasy 6 and all like any any similar releases from that era. It just I I, I, I'm very bad at being specific, but just that, as far as I'm concerned, that was one of the the, the, the best gen Genesis releases in in, in of, of all time. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> it was like well, I never actually played on a real Genesis. Before. It was right when I was dropping out of college the first time, and I was like I really, was really, you, really broke. Wait, didn't you have any friends? Didn't you take out? You were all broke as I was. Are you kidding? Uh, I hung out with him. Didn't you friends. eat only ramen? <laughs> of pizza rolls and spend all of your money on video games like I did? Do we have pizza rolls yet? No. I don't think so. You could roll no, pizza. I don't up. think they were made yet. Yeah, <laughs> we just had like these frozen you're no. that, you're that. little tiny pizzas. You had pizza. You had pizza. You had pizza. We had the burritos. We had the burritos from Aldi's. Oh, yeah. Burritos. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, all right. Now we're right. Wait. Hold on. Did you have a game in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, where are you? Where have you been? Fantasy Star Four. That Fantasy was Star Four. Fantasy, was a good call. I gotta tell you, I, it was slipped. Was in. that a sentence? Show note down. number three ninety eight. Larry is drunk. Larry okay. is drunk. Repeated from note one, right? Yeah, it's repeated from note one and the other three hundred. It was brilliantly slipped in. Brian. So for me, uh, my game was a little title called Zombies Ate My Neighbors. How many of you guys yes. played that game? I could afford that because it was on clearance. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I, I, I hope you didn't die a lot. <laughs> oh my god. For me though, I uh, I was I, I was terrible at that game. I don't think I had ever made it past like the pyramid, like the first pyramid level. Where it's like you, you jump in, you get Pandora's box, and it kills everything. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I can't remember how far along that game, or that was in the game. There's something like 55 levels in that game. I think I got maybe a quarter of them. I, I don't know. I was I was so terrible at that game, but no, I uh I I'd really like to see like a reboot or at least uh wait there is what what cons uh, oh, console console <laughs> not everything's console. Uh, it was on the 360, no, as was, I recall. Yeah. It was on Xbox Live. Uh, it's also available on Android. I know I played it on my Nvidia Shield. There is a, there's an Android. I saw the yeah, Android it's in 3D too. Yeah. Why am I not playing it right now? Well, I'll go look oh it up. I was going to say, I played, uh, I know you guys had, uh, I know you guys have a, uh, uh, it was like, a, uh, Travis has a modded uh, Xbox 360, original Xbox, where, yeah, he's got all those original Genesis games on. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Every time I go over to, the, to his house, I, got, I play that every single time. Uh, oh, it was so much fun. Like, where, Mike, where is Travis? Doing stuff. Doing stuff. Doing stuff. Also, I want to correct. Also, want to want a correction on Kevin's little 3D bullshit. 3D was out on the Super Nintendo. Star Fox. Mode seven, yeah, whatever. Whoop de doo. Star Fox 3D. That's like saying Doom Doom 3D was actually 3D. The build engine was not true 3D. <laughs> it was 3D. Right, no, no. What did you point five D? But my favorite Genesis game going on that part. Okay, get, uh, I talk about it. Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. Not the no. Fuck you, Super Nintendo. I could finish uh, him. Fatality! <laughs> Wait, I thought you were talking about the other kind of finish him. No, not that kind of finish him. No. That's for someone else to do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, if I remember wow, right, no yeah. comment. Huh? if I remember right, the Mortal Kombat version for Genesis... Oh! Actually had blood! Was blood yes, it had blood. It actually had blood. It was 
pre censoring of the video game. Yes, so. yes, it was pre. That's when uh, what was it? the yeah the. When you ripped the guy's head off. There was blood. Yeah, yeah and and, and the spine and yeah. everything like and that. That's how it should be. And yes. and that was the beginning of the ESRB rating system yep. right there. Yep. 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 Also, like also I like to like bring up too like uh what Sega does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That old. Nintendo. That, yeah, Nintendo. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. Nintendo yeah, that was. A, there was that. That was their advertising campaign yep, for the Sega yep, Genesis. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But who's alive today? Both, technically. Uh, the Genesis. Uh, all right. No. Nintendo is alive today and Sega's not. So that campaign did not do well. But but during but during but during that console war, it was a very tight fight with uh, N- Super and, Nintendo and, and the Sega lost. Genesis. So was WWF and, and WCW. They they didn't really again. lose. They came out with the Sega Dreamcast, and no one really. No, I. Sega lost. Sega lost. Back back down to what games? What games were playing? Larry's wrong, by the way. So what, what games have been playing? No. No, 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 no. If you were paying attention on your phone. Sega no, Genesis. he was saying what games we're playing. Sega, no. Your, Sega your favorite Sega Genesis, 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 Genesis game. Genesis I didn't. Genesis. Okay, wait. Brian, what do you want to say? So what if I told you guys that I've never played Mortal Kombat? You're coming ever. over. I've never yeah, played. You, you really should live. You really yeah. should try Mortal Kombat. You wouldn't be surprised because it's played the original. But I've played Duke Nukem. Isn't yeah, well, it well, like... Yeah, well, there's yeah, similarities. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played Sega Genesis. At all? I've had the Atari system. We have one in our house. <laughs> shame, shame. You've never no, no, no. Like, no, you know because, it. because it's, not, it's not hooked up. Controllers are the buttons. There's a black penis joke. I went to go play games the other day, but it was never I hooked up. All right, you I really, really didn't mean it. If you, yeah. Like, hook it up. I played the Atari system. <laughs> it was passed down from my dad to me. So I had the Atari, and then I went to PlayStation. Right. So no Sega. Atari to PlayStation. Jump to All Sega. Right. All right. Exactly. See, Wait, I no, no you're one. missing one. No, there's a gym. There's a gym oh, in there. You're God. missing. Larry, off topic. Oh, no, off no, topic. No, 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 it's not. I want to hear this. Larry, you Larry, are talking Larry, in five you'll, minutes. You'll Larry, get. You'll Larry, get. Larry, 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 I want to start out by saying that Sega Genesis is my all-time favorite system. I still have my original. So, it's very hard for me to pick just one Sega Genesis game. Okay. Quick question, though. Which original do you have? Do you have the... Um, the that's right. Not the big one. Okay, you've got the, the, the compact one. The yes, one. yes. Okay. So, I have the compact one. That was the one. That that was the two where you could connect all the shit up to. Yes, <laughs> I just need that to imagine you. Right. right. So, um, I'm going to pick though out of all the the games that I love, still love playing. I'm going to pick Toe Jam and Earl because oh, yeah. it was amazing and is amazing. I love that. And box. it's just it was just an original, unique game that was fun as hell. And it was fun to play with your friends too because you could do that. Yes. Yeah, and that's again. That was a good again another good couch game. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, it was a good couch game. You and your buddy just playing, having yes. to sleep over. Exactly. Yeah. You're like, you want to play Tony Amaro? It's got great music. <laughs> 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 um, but nowadays they sell for a lot. Kinda. You for a Sega really? Genesis game. For I mean, well, not like believe it or not, like, like the twenty-five retro, the bucks. Retro, but the retro is coming back, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I do believe it. I hang out with you guys. Yeah. yeah. All right, Lair, now you can ramble on as much as you want. Well. <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite Genesis game? All right. You know what? Nope. I'm an arcade kid. Right. So oh, my favorite Genesis game is really a Genesis series. Golden Axe. Mm. They ported over Golden Axe, wow, and it was a solid port of Golden Axe. Oh. Yeah, then yeah, that's really they... Cool ported over Golden Axe 2. But there is a Golden Axe 3 that was just a Genesis. Or at least I know it only as a Genesis. I've never looked it up to see if there was ever an arcade version of it. But I think it's only a Genesis. And it's actually my favorite Golden Axe. I like the original one. The original one's solid. I like the dwarf. But I like the... 
<laughs> yeah, they have different characters in each different one, There's but the, on the Golden Axe 3 is actually my favorite. You the, are the, correct, sir. It only came out on the Sega. That's yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. The Mega Drive cartridge. Yeah, okay. and and uh, it's one of the funnest. You know, they just how you attack the castle and different things. Oh, no, they did, they did re-release it for the PS2. Okay, well, it was a re-release. On the Genesis. It was an arcade port. Yeah, released on the Sega Mega Drive. Yeah. It was not an arcade port. No, it, they they took the same world mm -hmm. and made another game for it. So, I, and I think it's, a lot of people probably don't even know there was a, a Golden Axe 3 hanging out there. And I recommend it. It was it was a lot of fun. I, to be honest, I'm, I'm glad I'm, it now. I'm glad I'm glad you brought it up because I forgot about that game. That game was Golden cool. Axe is awesome. You know how I like beat 'em ups? It's a beat 'em up. It, it, it is. It is a beat 'em up, and it's something you can just hang with for 20, 30 minutes. Also, probably good, beat it. Another another good couch gaming. It is a good couch gaming. Yeah, and you can do it with your pals. You know, because it had good multiplayer support to it, you know, so you can have other people hang in. You know, just there. jump in. Hey, let's play some Golden Axe, and boom, you're there. You know what? Now, but here's a, here's a downside that I found with the 16-bit at the time, and, it, and it maybe I just didn't know. I found that most of their RPGs didn't have a battery in the cartridge. And you had to use passwords to oh, establish me, yes. whatever yes, it is you like were in the game. Or, like, come yeah. along. Most of the Nintendo ones, 8-bit, so lesser graphics and stuff, but had the battery backup so you could save your game and then pick it up the, the next time. The Genesis didn't have that. I found it very frustrating. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and because you're sitting there trying to navigate those stupid on-screen keyboards... Like and, said, then, and then with one, the ungodly long freaking then, code then, you had to enter. Not only that, but then they just had convoluted fucking symbols. Yeah, too, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Well, that that, that was uh, relatively significant so, data. You know, what, you know, I know, you know, you, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait too. Um, I, I know we're working on a little rah rah for the system, but that's kind of a down for well, me because I'm an RPG guy. Side, no battery means. <laughs> 20 years later, that you still have to works. fuck around. You have to pry them open and replace the battery just to have, be able to save. Well, Dude. fair enough. Fair enough. I'm gonna, so, I, got, I got two other games that are kind of like... But the out. game I loved was was the was the uh, Golden Axe. So. Good call. Good call. I All right, pass it on. All right, Matt. Favorite Genesis game? Rampage. <laughs> Another, oh, yeah. you know, there are so many good Genesis I, games. I, evidently there are, because you guys are so all hitting, many good Genesis you are hitting games. All, the, all the amazing games. And? That's all I really have to say about it. It was awesome. That's you know, enough. it kind of brings up a point that the Gen the Sega line sort of throughout have always been a good arcade machine. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. They've no. always had good arcade ports. They, they've always had their individual games that felt like arcade games. They've always been a good arcade style. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that they were really good at building controllers, whereas everyone else sucked at it. Think about it. Sega was awesome at making controllers. All of their controllers rocked. All of their competitors' controllers sucked. No, the Dreamcast controller is one of the best controllers ever, and every modern controller design is copied from it. Dreamcast controller. That, that, I, I, because, that, well, to be fair, Microsoft did a good that job with minor. that. that Dreamcast is minor. was a, a before its time, and if it would have came out today, it would have been amazing. Matt's right. Everybody ripped You're, off it's, the Dreamcast it's a controller yeah. system. The, the uh, only improvement they made was adding another analog stuff. Right, exactly. And, 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 and putting make, the cord in the front. Microsoft. Correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> right. On the correct side. Yeah. No, no, that that that's very true. That's very true. Okay, so I'm gonna go I, again, I'm gonna go Sonic and Hedgehog to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. A classic. You know, it, what about da, Sonic da, CD? Da, da, now, are we counting da, 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 the CD peripherals? No, no, I'm only going with the cartridges. Yeah, well, I'm just going for just the straight yeah, Genesis. Is it Sonic the Hedgehog two with knuckles. Yeah, it could be if you had the Sonic. Oh the knuckles yeah, attached, yeah, 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 right, exactly. Yeah, another peripheral thing. Oh, you can put cartridges together. Oh, that, cool. that, that was like the beginning of the 32. Yeah, it really was actually. <laughs> Would you consider that a peripheral though? A no, I, I, no, no, I, I don't consider that a peripheral. That's just an add-on. But that being said, the game. It's a solid, straight platform game. It beautiful graphics, 
amazing speed. It showed off all the hardware capabilities of the Genesis. And the Genesis, really, hardware-wise, was really tight and a very solid piece of hardware. You know, sure you could pause that shit for hours. Thank you, exactly, and come back into it, which yes. you could not do with games at the time. No. I think they were the first one to be yes. able to do that, where you literally could, it okay, pause and okay. walk away. Yep, you'd I'm, be okay. I'm a little surprised you didn't say Sonic 3, just because of the ability to save. This goes back but down to what Kevin has pause said. It. What if, what if you lived with your grandmother and she didn't want you leaving your system on all the time? Yeah, well, I... I, mean, I, I have emancipated childhood. yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I would have emancipated myself at nine years old. You should have emancipated yourself. <laughs> 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 you nine. Fuck you're this career. Career. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so that's mine. I, and, and again, I know it's kind of cliche, but it is a... It really is, and that is the franchise that, let's be honest, made Sega. Yes. All right. You yeah. Sega's master. All right. Sonic is to Sega as Master Chief is to Microsoft. Yes, exactly. I'll, I'll give you that. Really, that's the, the like, analogy you pick? Well, of course it is what you would pick. Right? It's also no, a very apt no. one. It is, it, it is an apt one. It is very accurate. Which other iconic Microsoft would, game character talking, is saying, there? Really, I don't know if Microsoft is about Oh, jeez. We're not, we're not talking about them. No. All right, Rob, what's yours? Uh, mine is going to be Road Rash. Ooh. And it's because oh, that game... Oh. This this, there are just that no game, end of good titles, right? Yeah, let's do another. Let's do another circuit. <laughs> that game just blew my freaking mind when I plugged that in the first time. Yeah. It was, and I had to save up for like ever to get it, because you know when I had the Genesis, I was totally broke ass, and that was so worth it. I plugged that cartridge in and started punching people in the face while riding on my motorcycle, and I had a motorcycle at the time, and it was like, yeah, this is like what I always wanted to do with my life. And he means in real life. Yeah, I said I do mean in real life. I, actually had, and then I had some anger when I was younger. I actually you had too. two other games. Still? Like, they're not my favorite, so I want to bring them up. One, Splatterhouse. Yeah, I hear that one a lot, too. Yeah, that one was a real well, You know, it really, really wasn't game. easy to get. That wasn't Were you done? Sorry. Mike, don't give a shit. Mike just didn't <laughs> it. No, please finish. And then Streets of Rage. No one brought that up. I was that way. Dude, if we were in the second no, circuit, that was what could, I was going to jump to. You could bring up because games all talk, night long. I literally could talk for two Let's hours. Let's have a three hour second special. Second Thank you. Exactly. 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 But and nobody then, wants to hear it. Right. So. We need to get on to We need to get on. No, no. We need to get on to the next topic. Rob. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I do want to bring up. Just, 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 you can just, never get Larry to change subjects. Note 367. Quick thought. Are you there are no quick a thoughts from Larry. Impression. All right. We obviously are big Genesis 16 oh, fans. 16 really? fans. This yeah. is already all right. too long. <laughs> so, but what about the 32? 32. Ads? The 32 no, add-ons. No, different, a different they're That's going to be on the stupid add-ons thing. Yeah. Have a stupid add-on why, why don't we just bring up a fail stupid add-on uh, show? Genesis. Oh, right. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. I will wait for the stupid add-on add show. All right. Yeah, stupid Rob. add-ons. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm seeing interesting. Rob, Larry, what's the next topic? Don't worry, Larry. <gasps> I still like you. Well, the next topic is... Yeah. We are going to be heading off soon to the Midwest Gaming Classic. Yeah. This year, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I'm like totally not talking, talking to the. Talking at us. Uh, no. Most people just listen to it anyway. That's probably why. Watch two, three times. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> yes. Pervert. Anyway, this year we're going to have two rooms of greatness at Yay! MGC. Which is a big deal because it means we're going to be able to pull out a lot of the equipment that's, you know, usually sitting in the backgrounds here. Yep. Uh, we're going to have a retro room, a modern room. There's just going to be a lot of beer. I'm so excited. There's going to be so much beer. There's going to be so much jello shots, too. This but year. in addition, every year we have a thing called the Black Box of Awesome. And this year's Black Box of Awesome. Why has it got to be black? Because I spray painted black. I don't spray paint it pink. It's not a pink box, box of awesome. awesome. You know what we're gonna do? It's a black box. Yeah, well, that's a whole other issue right yeah. there. Pink box. Well, well, we'll do that All next right, year. So, <laughs> Rob, I have a lot of black Rob, paint. Rob, can it have gold trim? It did last year. No, it's silver last year. Yeah. Rob, what uh, color trim are gonna be in the, big bo the black box of awesome this year? Well, Wait, this year. Trim. Oh, for God's sake. Shut up, Larry. This year. God damn it, Larry. I'll paint it. This year we are going to have. 
some custom. We're going to be recording this again, I think. <laughs> You're probably going to delete this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this year, we are going to have custom made guys, games, and beer coasters is mm. one of the things. Yes, a set of four. Oh, nice. For your drunken ass. Wow. But they're going to have the beautiful G2B logo on them. Nice, nice, yes. nice. Made by New Bet. Made by New Bet's own hands. Uh, I, I've learned how to... Uh, okay. Jesus, learned how to... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've learned how to make them better. So if you look at the tops... Can you hold it up, please? I have learned to make it so the tops fit them just perfectly, and they look all nice. And if you flip it over, the bottoms look all nice, too, so they don't scratch up your counters. Because they're belt. Good job, them. Yes. They look... And they feel great against your face. <laughs> they feel great against your face, apparently. So they ruin, won't ruin your table, but then they'll also they show up... Lives. They do ruin lives. No, no. But... alcohol is so it does that. <laughs> they also show up who you love the most, which is guys, games, and beer. Woo! At least about a hundred of you do. Yes. So, but they look nice though, right? They were, yeah, they look great. They were I love great. Them. They suck up the water and they don't damage your table. And they're much like the ones we have right here in G2B Studios. Right. Except here, they're all sorts of beer. Yeah, they have all sorts of different ones here. Yeah. Okay. What else is in the box, Rob? Number two. Number two is in the box. <laughs> oh, want to exp right. express your love for Dolph? Well, have one of Dolph's babies. Wait, I have not seen Dolph in a while. What yeah, you it's do? because one dolphin's But wait, one dolphin baby is not enough for you? Two dolphin babies. Crap, two dolphins. Wow, Dolph has been one That's right. Yeah, it's because four times a year. Yeah. Four times a year, as Matt has taught us. Okay, item. No, another item we have for you. The duo pinball. The duo pinball controller, which will hook up to any Bluetooth device, not just your iPad, but it will work with your iPad if you have one. iPad not included. Uh, we shown this on a we show, we showed this on a previous episode as well. We'll be running those out at MGC as well. We'll have a, a, a display with a whole bunch of those. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's more. Where's the? It's behind you. Oh yeah, we can right behind you. Right on me. Okay. But wait, no. But but wait. What is better? What is? Oh man, that was distracting. What is better than a Game Boy? Well, I'll tell you what's better than a Game Boy. The Game Prince. That's right. It runs iPhone, PC, and Android games. That's a total lie. It's a whole bunch of hack nest games. No G2B staff is exempt. But wait, there's more. Yes, there is. <gasps> a full-size box copy of one of the best RPGs ever, Titan Quest. Yes. What about the expansion? I don't think it's in there. <laughs> Damn it! My THQ! God oh, damn it, Bobby. Uh, so it's Do they even exist as a publisher anymore? I really Not really. That your head is all video games all day. Yes. I get it. Oh, Next! Okay. Next, for God's sake, Larry. Larry Track Mania. No, it's most. Forget it. Uh, Track Mania. The original Track Mania. Oh, wow. Wow. May or may not run on your machine, to tell you the truth, but it does come with a key on the back. So you can play it online. Wait, there's more. <laughs> no, you can't. No, if you get quick guys games and beer, I would have done it years ago. <laughs> You're the, you uh, created it. That's <laughs> the it's a shaker coming. All right. But wait. But wait, there's more? There is more. Got yourself an Atari 2600 and don't know what to play? How about a copy of Astro Blast, brand new? Wow, in the package. It's still shrink wrapped. It's still shrink wrapped. Wow, you can sell that on eBay for. Plus, Space Attack. Ooh. All these in television, uh, all these in television ports. So, if you always wanted an Intellivision but only could afford an Atari 2600. <laughs> and network games, by the way. But wait, there's more. Wow, you went. You guys are really Activision. 
Oh, Activision Stampede. Stampede, yeah, that was a good game. Activision <laughs> being the only company that was making good games for the Atari 2600 no, no, for no. a long while. Looks like an Intellivision. Oh, wait, this is oh, this is Intellivision. Intellivision. So if you can't afford to tell Envision, you can get this game brand new in the box. If you're one of those three people. Uh, three otherwise, people. you can hang it on your wall, which will look really sexy because Stampede's a sexy that game. Would look I like that one. That is some wall. fine cover art, I have to say. Like, yeah. You don't see that kind of attention to rustic cowboy detail anymore. <laughs> or, or even... <laughs> <laughs> Except in my pants. Except in my pants. Before in my life. Yeah. I will never say but it again. now you will forever. No, Kevin's a monogamous sayer. <laughs> what? what? Okay. <laughs> he okay. Like he does bring up Rob, a very good Rob, point, though. You never but, see Rob, that word. I have like something to say. Oh, please let me get through this damn segment. For God's <laughs> oh, sake. Damn. No, I, I, One last thing that is not here uh, with us is... I know you've always wanted a NES controller yes. for your PC. Ooh. That's right. New in box and inbound is a brand new NES controller that will plug in via USB to your PC. That is not it. Uh, this is actually well, a, a this one actually plugs into a NES, but it will look a lot like this one. I was like, here we're selling Jonah. <laughs> no, I'm not selling Jonah. You get a quiet kid. Congratulations. That's right. One Check out that stash. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. Right and here's the. Slavery is a Also, this is what the game actually looks like. There's not going to be any svelte cowboys involved. It's just that It's politics talk with guys, games, and beer. Shit happens. And they didn't hear a damn thing you said because you didn't have the mic. The point is the stash. Yeah, the point is the stash. And, uh,. Yeah, that is. Wait, that that's, that's an amazing that's stash. An amazing nope. box of awesome. Okay, nope. That is nope. a great box of awesome, oh. and it's a great box of awesome that's appropriate for the M M C M G C C. Do it. Oh, have another drink, Larry. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Stop pointing the microphone to him. But, but, I still I have to throw in, and you don't know this, I have to throw in something of a board game. I'm going to throw oh. a nitro dice into the box of awesome. Breaking news. All right. A board game action. And by the way, you do not need to actually be a paying MGC entrant. Uh, if you show up at the lobby, that's the plans right now, of uh, the lovely Sheridan what's the, what's the Sheridan, Brookfield. Brookfield. Thank you. Sheridan, Brookfield Sheridan Brookfield Hotel you'll be able to compete with everybody else yep. it is a free guy. to enter contest absolutely you do not need to be a paying member of purchase necessary right but you do have to play that's correct it is a skill game it is not a random game it is a skill game it's a very important legal there game there will be a contest but there is no entrance fee to get in it no you hear that state of wisconsin there is no entrance fee whatsoever you can walk in the lobby and play we're not gambling assholes <laughs> yeah. so quit screwing us wisconsin that's bullshit it's not wisconsin it's brookfield and or waukesha county one of the two right. are you sure you know that by next year that's uh Yeah, I, nah. All right, that is it. I am ending this episode for the love of God. Hallelujah! Visit the Gutter Geeks at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer. Also on Twitter at guysgamesbeer. And visit us on our Steam group. Yeah, it's Guy's Games of Beer, too.